bladder cancer is a cancer arising in the lining of the bladder. So the bladder's got a number of layers to it. The innermost lining gets exposed to a lot of toxins in the urine, so sometimes you can get cancers arising in that. Typically in developed economies, it's the fifth or sixth commonest cancer. It's a bit commoner in men than women. To put that in context, that's commoner than all of leukaemia and lymphoma combined. Worldwide, there's over 400,000 cases per year. The most common symptom is bleeding into the urine. This occurs because the bladder tumour needs to grow its own blood supply. It's typically quite fragile blood vessels and these will bleed. They don't necessarily bleed all the time, so bleeding is often intermittent. The second thing that can happen is that you can pick up infections in the bladder more easily, so patients do sometimes present with infections. And the third thing, and it particularly occurs with very big tumours, is that it can irritate the whole bladder so you can find you're passing urine more frequently, more urgently, or in extreme cases you start getting bladder pain. The main risk factor is smoking, but that only accounts for maybe two-thirds of cases, so at least a third of cases occur in non-smokers. The average age of diagnosis is in the early 70s, but we do see cases going down into the 40s and 50s as well. It's very rare under the age of 40, though. Increasingly, we're seeing it in other cohorts apart from lifelong smokers. It's been a very neglected disease, so I think it's important to raise awareness of it. So if you notice blood in your urine, you should go and see your GP and you should be referred to a rapid access haematuria blood in the urine clinic because early diagnosis, as with most cancers, gives you a better chance of a good outcome.